last updated 2016. September 29, 2017 New York Times writer Nick Confessor talks with Radio New Zealand's Catherine Ryan about the new breed of lobbyist appearing in Donald Trump's Washington, the connection with New Zealand, and a lavish party held at our embassy to celebrate the president's inauguration. It was the fortuitous sniff of a dog that led to Prime Minister Bill English sharing his phone call with United States President Donald Trump. As the New Zealand government struggled to get in touch with the then newly elected commander-in-chief, a chocolate Labrador intent on sniffing the trousers of American lobbyist Robert Strick was the catalyst to get the two countries talking. The amusing tale was retold by Strick to Friday's edition of the Daily and New York Times News podcast. Trump had so many people around him and experienced with the transition of power that many countries were nervous they could not get in touch with the president, and New Zealand was one of them. It was while smoking a cigar on the patio of the Four Seasons Hotel in Georgetown, Washington, D.C., when Strick encountered the curious Labrador who happened to be owned by the deputy ambassador from New Zealand, Carolyn Beresford. Read more U.S. President Donald Trump speaks with Prime Minister Bill English Personal chemistry sparked during Donald Trump and Bill English's phone call A glittering Trump inauguration party at NC's Washington Embassy cost taxpayers $81,000 Trump a headache for New Zealand spies. She said she called and get a phone call set up between Bill English and Donald Trump, and this is one of our closest allies, said Strick. According to his website, Robert Strick is counsel to a myriad of private and public organizations. Trump had so many people around him and experienced with the transition of power that many countries were nervous they could not get in touch with the president, and New Zealand was one of them. They didn't know who to call, it wasn't a slight it was just so chaotic. People were getting phone numbers from Australian golfer Greg Norman or a Miss Universe contestant. Carolyn Beresford, deputy head of mission at the New Zealand Embassy in Washington, D.C. Strick said he knew a couple of people from his time helping out on the Trump presidential campaign, and after a few calls tracked down a number which ultimately led to the first chat between English and Trump. Unlike Australia's disastrous call, New Zealand's first chat with the U.S. president went smoothly. At the time it was reported the two leaders talked about trade, national security, and New Zealand's contribution to the fight against Islamic State. New Zealand ambassador to the U.S. Tim Grocer, in blue, mixes with Washington, D.C. high flyers at a gala, due put on by the embassy. From their strict help to organize a glittering Trump inauguration party at New Zealand's Washington embassy which cost Kiwi taxpayers more than $80,000. Among the 320 guests, hosted by New Zealand ambassador Tim Grocer, were influential Trump insiders, business leaders, military and government figures and the odd Hollywood celebrity. He claims the fortuitous meet led to strict consulting in a lobbyist-type role with the New Zealand government and other countries on White House procedures. The New Zealand embassy in Washington, D.C. hosted 320 guests at an inauguration party. The presenters of the Daily said it could start earning millions a year from a client base that included the Czech Republic, Saudi Arabia, and Afghanistan. All countries have one, even the Catholic Church has a lobbyist, said Strick. Earlier this month a New York Times journalist told Radio New Zealand the contract with Strick ended during the American summer. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs and Trade has been approached for comment. Stuff.